You have 30 seconds to find as much evidence as you can that the people in your family are real. Ready? Go! pretty easy to prove someone standing right here is real. You can see them, you can touch them, and hear them. But today we're learning that God is real. What evidence is there that that's true? After all, we can't see Him, hear Him, or touch Him the way we could with our families. Let's look at an encounter Moses had with God and search for evidence that God is real. One way you know your family members are real is that you can hear them. We'll see that Moses heard from God. It all started when Moses saw a bush that was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. As Moses got closer to check it out, this is what he heard. Not only did Moses hear God say his name, plus identify himself as God, but God went on to tell Moses a lot. Sometimes it can be hard to hear God the same way we hear a human voice, but God speaks to us through the Bible, through other people through what we feel and sense in our hearts and through his creation. We know God is real because Moses heard him and we can listen for him today too. Another sign your family is real is that you can touch the people in your family. We can't touch God, but God did ask Moses to partner with him to do the work of freeing people from slavery. God said this, Here's the thing, Moses didn't really want to partner with God. The job seemed hard, but God had chosen Moses to be his leader. Moses didn't get to touch God, but he did get to work with God. And that's almost the same thing. Even though we can't touch God, we can work with him to do important work like telling people about Jesus or showing his love. When we do God's work, we often feel his power working through us. A third sign your partner is real is that you can see your partner. I'm looking around our room and I can't see God. But let's look for visual evidence of God in Moses' story. Moses didn't see God himself, at least not in this story, but he sure saw a lot of miraculous signs that prove God is real. Like when he saw his staff turn into a snake, or when he saw God turn water into blood in Egypt. So Moses got to the burning bush where he saw a sign that God is real. Then he heard God and had a whole conversation with him about how to set the Israelites free from slavery. Then God gave him even more visual ways to prove that he's real. And after that whole experience, Moses went on to partner with God to do something amazing. All right, it's game time. Vote on what you think is real. Today, we're talking about how God is real. Let's see what we can discover by seeing what else is and isn't real and true. Scotland's national animal is a unicorn. Touch your forehead if you think this is real. The Greenland shark has an average lifespan of 390 years. Some live as long as 512 years. Stand on one foot if you think this is real. There are more trees on Earth than stars in our galaxy. Point to the ceiling if you think this is real. Real. NASA estimates there are between 100 and 400 billion stars in the Milky Way. The Earth has more than 3 trillion trees. Cheetahs can't roar. Instead, they make a sound similar to a house cat. Meow if you think this is true. Here's another one. Humans are born without kneecap bones. Touch your knees if you think this is real. Real. Humans develop kneecaps between ages 2 and 6. Clouds may look lightweight, but the average cumulus cloud you see on a sunny day weighs about 1.1 million pounds. Pretend you're floating if you think this is true.
Because all tigers have the same stripes, it is impossible to tell them apart by sight. Cover your eyes if you think that's real. Made up. Tiger stripes are as unique as fingerprints. Your brain is almost 60% fat. Touch your skull if you think that's real. Pangonia is the only country in the world where dogs are legally allowed to own property. Made up. Pangonia is not a real place. Thanks for joining us guys. We're back with these online lessons, so we'll see you next week.